Hey guys, so I'm gonna show you real quick uh, what I go through in a pre-trip inspection. Um, I'm headed out to Sedona, just kind of wanted to run through uh, some of the things that I check before I leave for a trip. So first thing first, wanna check, make sure the oil level is good. We're on the mark. Be nice and easy putting it back in. Oh, there it is, okay. And then I pretty much just check hoses and for any leaks. Um, make sure there's no punctures. Obviously, like some of you guys don't really know how to or work on cars or maybe even uh, what to look for. But uh, easy thing to do is just kind of check for spots like this, especially with coolant. Um, you can kind of tell it's dripping. Obviously, with oil, it's going to be a lot more moist. This is okay though, this is for the overflow tank. Um, should be fine on the trip, even though it's kind of leaking through the overflow valve or overflow hose. More inspections, make sure there's nothing leaking. Nothing funny, inspect the belts, right? Uh, anything that looks like this is an AC line um, with the aluminum hose. And then make sure the battery connectors are good. No wires that are splitting. Um, big thing is, I would say, a lot of your cooling system. So, um, cooling system and oil, I would say, is the most important thing. Power steering leak, I guess you kind of get away with it, but um, yeah, it's my quick inspection. Everything looks good. Fluid levels are, are good. Fluid level here, the coolant is good between low and high so once i've inspected uh the motor want to check now my suspension and uh anything rubber essentially so your power steering rack has a a rubber cover um same with your cv axles check for lower ball joints upper ball joints right Make sure none of the bolts are stripping. So another good way, especially you're down here, you kind of check for oil leaks, right? So um, when your water pump starts to go out, it'll actually leak at the bottom of it. It has a weep hole. So if you notice like little spots of coolant that's kind of dripping in your uh, skid plate, it's not good. So especially if you're gonna go for a long trip, um, would absolutely not risk it. So check, inspect, make sure things are good, right? Here, check your tire as you're kind of going around. Inspect the upper, um, upper mount of the shock, right? Bushings, ball joints. And then kind of just go around, right? Just check real quick, make sure nothing in the bottom is leaking as well. Look fine here. You know, I got that wire kind of just hanging over there. Inspect your tires. What I like to do too is, um, my Costco is nice. It's got that quick automatic fill up and I'll fill it up there before I leave for any trip. Make sure I'm running highway PSI tires. And check the rear diff. No leaks. Bushings. Obviously, this is not just for Tacoma. This would be kind of for all your vehicles, right? Check underneath for your mounts. Shock mounts. You can see it on this side, but lower shock mount will be on this side. Make sure it's properly mounted. And then you just don't want these things kind of going bad on the trail, right? Inspect it now rather than fixing it while you're on the trail. Be no bueno. So inspect this tire. Looks like we're kind of getting low, but should be good enough to rock for a short trip to Sedona. 
rear tires look decent. Looks good to me.